So tomorrow, you and I are flying to New York to go pick up our new Cybertruck. This is our Tesla Cybertruck. That's a piece of garbage. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not that stupid. I guess I am. <laughs> 29%? What the heck? It charged all night. Why are we at 29%? I know that it said show all these freaking electric cars. Today is one of those days where I love my job. Today is delivery day on a Cybertruck. 2019, that Cybertruck was ordered as soon as the idea of the Cybertruck was released. Today is the day we get to get our Cybertruck and you're gonna join me alongside. I'm surprising my son with it today, which is really cool. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, the thumbnail is a little deceiving. There's a little bit of clickbait. I made it seem like I'm buying my son a Cybertruck. Come on, let's be realistic. He's not getting a Cybertruck. Maybe one day when he affords it on his own, for now he gets to drive in a Cybertruck alongside with me. I've never owned a Tesla. I own an electric vehicle. I'm probably one of the most hated electric vehicle owners on the planet because I tell you the truth, good or bad. Today's video, we're picking up our Cybertruck. We're gonna learn all about the Cybertruck. I'm in New Jersey now, and we should drive it all the way back to New Hampshire. I'm gonna learn how it works on the ride back, and you're gonna learn with me. Let's fast forward back to yesterday when I surprised my son with the great news because he had no idea we were getting the Cybertruck. My name's Craig from Flying Wheels. Let's get going. Yesterday. Hey, come here and check this out real quick. Read what this says right here. Delivered May 24th, 21st, 2024 at 2 p.m. When's May 21st? Tomorrow. Tomorrow at 2 p.m., right? All right, now go to here. Whose name is on that? Airline ticket. Logan. Yes. I'm going with you. So tomorrow you and I are flying to New York to go pick up our new cyber truck. What? Tomorrow Actually? morning. So you're taking the day off school and we're going to get our cyber truck. Yes! 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 Ah, that was actually a really good slide. Wow, that was a great knee slide. I wish I caught it from that angle. And now look at your knees all scuffed up. Tomorrow morning. So we're heading to Boston, heading out from Logan and Newark, and then driving our cyber truck back here tomorrow. That's why you don't want me to go to school tomorrow. So you get to play hooky tomorrow. Fun being a dad sometimes. The next day. Today is an exciting day. You'll see I am at Logan Airport, not by myself, but also with my son, Logan, at the Logan Airport. We Once woke up bright early this morning so he and myself could play hooky and hop on a spirit flight straight to Newark, New Jersey to pick up our cyber truck. Shortly, one hour from now, we're gonna be in Newark, New Jersey. Yep. Logan? Everything was done on this app. Like I paid for it, I signed all my paperwork, everything was done right here. So there's my car, I scheduled my delivery date for May 21st at 2 p.m. I did all my documentation here. If I hit continue, I can make my final payment, but it actually shows us how we pick up our car. I even got the alert that said your car is ready I'm on the app, so it notified me. For delivery day, if I go to appointment details, you know, show me a video. Tesla advisor will assist you remotely. Remotely, so it means they're not gonna assist me. View features from your touch screen. So then I get in the car, they show me how the car works. Not even, like a person doesn't show me. The car does. Enjoy your Tesla. And I guess that's it. There's no person who just get in it and go, I guess. They verified my identity already. Check in with the, oh, it does say check in with the Tesla advisor and they'll guide you to your vehicle. Well, didn't it just say it? It did. It's a touchless or remotely. Registration, they'll mail me everything I need. So they try to just be so like technologically advanced that everything's, hey, there's New York City. Everything's like, it, it's not personal. Nothing is personal at all. Everything is done on the app and it's try to be like streamlined. Here? Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. One of these is ours. Which one? Not that one, because that one's in for service. Why is a brand new Cybertruck in for service? A little scary, I don't really know. That is Stevens, meet your new Tesla. So that is not our Cybertruck. Where could our Cybertruck be? Maybe inside. Oh, I hope it's like in a, like, you know how like they have them all covered sometimes and they pull the and cover And they pull off. the cover off slowly? Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. Like I wouldn't mind a Model S or Model X one day as well. Like Look at this. I like the headlights in the Model 3. What about the Stradman videos? Like how like every time I get some new car, you go to the dealership and I just think. Oh, we should have requested it. There is a model Cybertruck. What is this thing called again? A Cybertruck in there. Let's go look at it. Now, I specifically asked for them to fully charge it, and they said they'll try. They can't guarantee that it gets delivered fully charged. 
charged, which seems a little ridiculous. Designed to be the world's toughest truck, ultra hard stainless steel exoskeleton, shatter resistant glass, ultra tough bed, adaptive air suspension, and 11,000 pounds of towing. Could this be our truck? Look at all the fingerprints all the way down the side. Look at that. No door handles, just fingerprints everywhere. Can't even keep this thing clean. No center caps, and they're starting to rust. This is brand new. Already starting to rust in here. I do like the tires too, yeah. Big bed. Check this out. Storage in there. And that lets you, you can play your games. Oh, look, you can charge a generator. Or you can uh, like run my camper off of that. See the Texas Star belt buckle on it? Tesla's out of uh, Texas now. Well, we've officially made it to Paramus, New Jersey, which I'm pretty sure I mispronounced. Right there is our 2024 Tesla Cybertruck. Right there is my son, Logan, who gets to enjoy this Cybertruck with us. Now, I surprised him yesterday with a flight out here. We're flying out together. We played hooky from school. We did a little father-son trip. We're gonna learn all about the Cybertruck together. Now, everything is like not personal at all. We had to like order it online. I had to upload my insurance. I had to pay for it all through my app. I got notified when it was like ready through my app i set up the delivery date through my app like you don't talk to people anymore you just show up and they say okay everything's done here's your key most of the time the key's in the car i attach my app and i get in and i drive away we're gonna drive five hours home back to new hampshire in our cyber truck without further ado not this one this one this is our legit it is really our tesla cyber truck with my name on it I haven't even opened the driver door yet. I have been in one. Unfortunately, I've driven one. I wish I hadn't ever been in one. I drove one in Florida last month for the first time. It was pretty odd. This is how you open the door right here. Just push right here, open the door. It is incredibly basic. Go ahead, Logan, open it up. It is hot in here. So leather, it's nice. Back seats, it's nice. Giant rear sunroof, world's largest windshield, and apparently unbreakable. I don't want to test it out. Apparently, undentable, like I can shoot it and it won't dent. Joe Rogan shot a bow and arrow, didn't dent. This is kind of cool. Push here, open it. Cyber truck. What is not cool? Fingerprints. Like they cleaned it and washed it, but apparently these things have to be washed every single day because of fingerprints. Another odd thing, these originally came with wheel covers. So you can see the cutouts in the tires here for the original wheel covers. While they were slicing into the tire and causing a defect, there was a recall on them. They removed the wheel covers, no center caps. There are no center caps on a cyber truck, which is odd because then you can like already see on a brand new truck, it's starting to rust in no time. That is all going to be rusty. So by the time like I make my next cyber truck video, there's probably gonna be fingerprints all over it and rusty in the center cap with under a thousand miles. Foundation series right there. You'll see foundation series. The way they price it, it's odd. It's non-negotiable. So you, you buy it and that's it. Truck was $80,000, but you get the foundation series, which is not an option. So you have to buy foundation series or the cyber beast, which is way more money. Foundation series, add $20,000. Then add $2,000 to have it delivered from Texas to New Jersey. They won't deliver to New Hampshire because Tesla's can't be sold in New Hampshire for some reason. I don't know. It's be like some type of dealer license rule maybe i don't know so i had to pay two thousand dollars to get it delivered from texas to new jersey and then my son and i had to get flights to new jersey my son and i had to get bus tickets from new hampshire to logan and boston flights from boston to new jersey then an uber from new york to here and so we're like pretty deep into just delivery and now we have a five hour ride home in a car that they actually didn't charge completely when i asked can you make sure it's at least fully charged they said maybe we're really busy they did they're charging it right now for us but originally it was Maybe we'll try. 15 minutes, our car's gonna get delivered. I'm gonna go through the whole delivery process. Then we're gonna do the car, and then we're gonna go home. A few minutes later. Thank you. Hello. Hey, Greg, it's Krista. How Hi. are you? Good, thank you. Good. I just wanted to let you know, I'm gonna get my customer before you into their vehicle. I'll probably take like 10 or 15 minutes, and okay. then I can get you into yours. Okay? Oh, amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'll talk to you in a few minutes. See you soon. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. You said something about all the Tesla employees. What was it? They're all so nice. They're all so nice. They were all so nice. Like, the place is jam-packed, and they were all very patient and not stressed out. Our pickup appointment was at 2 o'clock. We showed up an hour and a half early, so they were actually very, very polite and accommodating. Went and grabbed a burger, got a call, car's ready, finished lunch, we're on our way to go get our cyber truck. For real now. Every time you say, all right, I wasn't, I'm not talking to the camera. That's all right, talk to the camera anyway. Now you forgot what you're gonna say, camera shy? All right. No, that's what, every time you say, all right, it sounds like or whatever to turn yourself. All righty okay. then. Oof, I like this. How 
crazy is that all of these Teslas and only two Cybertrucks and one of them literally has my name on it. Pretty amazing. I already see a line running down from water here, but whose fingerprints are these? I'm not guilty. Well, that, that's it's gonna happen. I guess it is. It is so ugly. And what'd you just say? First of its kind. I like it. It shows where the air conditioner is coming out. And Oh my goodness. Netflix. I had no idea this was back here. YouTube. Oh, let's watch Flying Wheels on YouTube. Well, Logan was watching me on YouTube and then he found out some other cool tricks. You want to show that, tell everybody what's going on while I figure this out? Um, you By can... the way, it's hot in here. If you can figure out how to maybe turn the AC on. Uh, power, power. You can yes. move this seat from the back. Okay, thanks a lot. All right, I did no research. I am a complete Tesla noob. I did no zero research, which is against what every probably Tesla genius does because they're all rocket scientists. I don't know anything about how to drive this car. I didn't even know how to turn it on. I didn't know how to put it in drive. I wanted to come into this completely blind, not watch 100 YouTube videos, not have all my accessories at my house before I even arrived like Matt Sheehan did. Mm -hmm. I want to just figure this out as we go. Couldn't even increase the volume of the car. Didn't even know how to put it in drive. So we're gonna learn together. Logan already figured out the whole back area. This, everything is here. This is the entire instrument cluster. The display, everything is right here. Steering wheel is odd. Like my Audi electric vehicle and like every other car, when you get off the gas, the accelerator, the car still rolls. When you get off the accelerator in this car, in the Cybertruck, it comes to a complete stop. It's really odd. Look at how big the dashboard is. See how many bugs are going to get stuck up there? Gigantic windshield. One wiper that I don't even know how to turn on. Yeah, it's the world's biggest wiper. The world's biggest wiper on the world's biggest windshield. Shield. Logan found the wipers. So there's the wipers, heated steering wheel, heated seats, defroster, all that stuff is right there. Very inconsiderate. Dash cam, and what I'm camera. finding Tesla owners to be. Tesla owners are going to hate that I said that. Not one person like courteous enough to go like, hey, go ahead, go ahead. Everyone's like every man for themselves. Pull out in front of you, too bad for you type of person. Just from what I'm seeing in the parking lot. Does that mean I get to be that person? If I own a BMW, I don't use my directionals. If Tesla. I'm a Tesla owner, do I not have to let people go? Tesla theater. Oh, look, at look at I can see the car behind me. That's my rear view mirror because I can't see a darn thing in the rear view mirror. <laughs> That's the theater, you can watch when it's paused. Available you on your screen. Oh, here. you can watch it back there. So you'll see nothing right here, right? No wipers, no directionals. This is your directional, that's your directional. Oh, look. look it, it shows the camera. And then, oh, I can do wipers here. Talk right here, headlights here. Okay, so I do have some functions on the steering wheel. This is the airbag. Look at how little this airbag is. And away we go. I actually don't know how fast this thing is either. So getting onto the on-ramp. Ooh, Ooh, whoa, that's faster than my e-tron. Oh, wow, I was not expecting that. Yeah, some giddy up. Oh, yeah. yeah! All right, Tesla in a truck too. I wonder how this compares to the TRX. Oh my God! Wow! How about we stop by the Lambo dealership? Yes. Let's go to Lambo dealership. It's right across the street. I think I'm gonna title this video "The Idiot's Guide to Owning a Cybertruck" because there is no vents, no vents for the air to blow out. So I'm like looking to see where the air is blowing at me. It's right here. That line right there is where the air is coming out of. There's not even any vents. This is so weird. A few moments later. All right. I'm glad I brought you because you're figuring this car out way faster than me. Moments. Logan already found all the. Uh, turn on your noises. Fart on demand. And you can <laughs> move the whoopee cushion to each seat. <laughs> so stupid. You can put on romance mode in park. That's tracks. Ooh, romance. Available in park. Light show, park, boombox. But sketch, boom sketch. Logan and I can't really figure out how to shut it off. Did the music shut off? I think we just get out. Does it lock automatically? Logan, I'm gonna walk away, see if it locks automatically. Did it lock? It did not lock. Watch your fingers. Slam it. I'm gonna walk away. All right, did it lock? I don't know what I'm doing. We'll figure it out. I'll, I'll YouTube it later. The car shut off. The car shut off? Right, in the meantime, let's check out some Lamborghinis. Z06 for $149,995. Urus, that'll be next on the list. Maybach. Maybach or Maybach? You tell me, Maybach, Maybach, wow, wow. Is that an event store, STO, is that what that is? That whole Porsche. Oh, Porsche. Wow. 
quite a collection here. The grand opening, he says. having a battle on YouTube. How's it pronounced? Depends on who you ask. Ah, that's not the answer. We need the real answer. How do you say it? I say Urus, she says Urus. Urus. And is Urus correct too or no? According to the Italian, no. That's the one wrong way to say it? Urus. Urus. That sounds a little, little bit of a Spanish accent in it that way. <laughs> Less Italian. I figured out how to lock the door, by the way. Is it locked? <laughs> my app told me it wasn't locked, so I locked it from my app, I thought. Or so I thought, I guess. Shout out to Gio at Paramus Lamborghini. I'm pretty sure I'm saying this wrong. Met a nice guy that actually has seen some of our videos and was very helpful and informative. <laughs> Opposite, I, more money than brains, right? That's a piece of carpet. <laughs> Thank you. I know, you gotta be kidding me, right? Uh, no, no, we, pay, we paid a lot of money right? for it, yeah. I'm dead serious. You asked me if I made it myself. No, come on, this is a good looking car. Are you kidding me? No, you didn't buy it. This Seriously. is the future right here. You're not that stupid. I guess I am. <laughs> But watch this, ready? I don't give a shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, welcome to New York. That man was mean. He asked us if we made it ourselves. Welcome to New York City. He actually had us roll down our window to tell us how stupid we are and how ugly this thing is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, well, he's not really wrong. He is not wrong. It is ugly. Gonna be, he's going to say something. He's going to come back up to us. <laughs> His window's still down. <laughs> he's still calling us stupid. Wow, I think he's actually angry. He's really upset with us. He's swearing at us and shaking his head. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's... Welcome to New York. And out of the bridge comes New York City. This stuff's made in New York City. Anybody old enough to remember that commercial? You know what I like about tunnels? I love rolling the windows down in front cars and then hitting the gas and hearing the engine. Oh, wait a minute. This isn't nearly as fun as my race cars in tunnels. Bit of a bummer. Half the fun is actually all the fun is hearing the engine. And I'm just kind of sad about that. A few minutes later. It's really good. He's embarrassed. Tell everybody what's going on. We're in the city. People keep taking pictures of the car. Wild. Like people are stopping in traffic and taking photos of the cyber truck. It's so funny that everyone wants a photo. So I'm driving, right? Um, parallel parking. Look at my back my back wheels turn. I didn't realize that. Again, did zero research on this car because I want to learn and be surprised every time I learn something. I think this thing crab walk. Now Logan found a vintage soccer jersey store, football jersey store, and he follows a guy on Instagram. So we're gonna go visit. We're in park and now do we just get out and that's it? That's it, we just get out of the car? It seems really strange to me. Classic football shirts. Wild, I parked and like so many people come up. It's pretty cool. I guess I'm like, I've never seen one in person so it's pretty neat to everyone else. Alrighty, somebody asked if they could touch it. You can see they got their handprint on it. This cyber truck is becoming quite the disturbance in downtown New York City. It's stopping a lot of foot traffic, a lot of photos. <laughs> so, yeah, if you push that button right there, just hold it or push it hard. That was a, a wild experience. I've never really had a vehicle that so many people just stop in their tracks and ask questions about. And I've had some cool cars, but this is like I'm driving a prototype that nobody's ever seen before. Mm. Just vouch for me, please. There were so many people. There was at least like 15 people. It was crowds were stopping. That was crazy. Say hello to YouTube. <laughs> Mr. Embarrassed. Logan's embarrassed and a bunch of flying wheels. See you guys. That is Radio City Music Hall right there. That's like the main, you are in New York right now. This is the heart of New York. Hey, Lil Wayne just said my car's fire. What? 
Found the right parking garage. All the nice cars. Fingerprints all over this car already. Look at this guy. Gigantic palm. Yeah. A nice smack right there. Heck of a garage. That's what I want to be our next family car, an M5. We have a Porsche down there. Another Tesla in the back. Old Jaguar. Range Rover. Yeah, I think we chose the nicer garage. Escalade B just left. You see the back wheels turn? So weird to see the back wheels turn. Look at the four wheel steering. Such a goofy looking truck. I like it. You can't tell me it's really cool. It is oddly cool looking. <laughs> like you don't like that? Like I, I do like it. I like it a lot. I think it's just, I can see why everyone was taking photos There's of it. It's one so guy weird looking. Who doesn't like it. He's, in the shit bad <laughs> He's having a bad day. Hey, that's right. That's it. That's it. Who is that? Any idea? I have no clue who that is. Showing my age, but that was Zayn Malik, paparazzi, no, or something. I don't know. I had to ask some tweens. We bought a thirteen dollar donut that wasn't worth it, and then we came to the Carnegie Deli. Show them how thick that is. Carnegie Deli. That's squished. <laughs> squished out sandwich. And every bite we take gets stuck between our teeth. It's all in my teeth, all over my hands. Found out that guy's from One Direction, I guess. So he's a pretty big deal. Logan knew. Has a poster of him on his wall. Oh, definitely. And just like that, the day is over and I am wiped out and I still have a phone. Oh, actually, I take that back, the day's not over. I have a four and a half hour drive back to New Hampshire from New York City and I'm pretty sure it's still rush hour even though it's seven o'clock at night. That Cybertruck is cool looking. Is It looks like nothing else I have ever seen. It's the DeLorean of today. Really, really neat. If only those doors opened up like Lamborghinis and DeLoreans, that would be even cooler. Look at that thing show up. upper, mid, lower Manhattan for quite far too long because I just realized that the GPS is incorrect. Mm. There's like no GPS. You see lane features autopilot inactive. Autopilot active features unavailable. Lane departure avoidance unavailable. I guess there's an update that isn't ready yet for this car. So they kind of just rush these things out. Also, Logan realized that these are chargers. So wireless chargers. So that's cool. We just made our first pit stop and right away, someone stopped to take pictures of the car. So that's kind of neat. Say that again. It's just, yeah, that's your full wingspan is how wide the car is. Uh, we are halfway home and I am exhausted. Look at this. Look at the moth that just killed. Did it just burp at us? Wait, can we turn on the light show? Oh yeah, go do it. So Logan has actually figured out a lot of this car and I have not. Oh, it locked. Oh, that's what that noise was. It locked. All right, so let me unlock it from my phone. Oh, it's unlocked. So Logan's actually been playing with this car the whole ride home and he's figured out a ton of, like he's just having a good time, like it's a toy. You gonna do the light show? Did we already do the um, yeah. whoopee cushions? Nothing's happening yet. It it's loading. It's loading? Oh, I had to exit. I had to close the door. Oh, all right. So do you have to stay, stay in the car and do it? No, it says enjoy the light show. From outside the car? Yeah, it says you have to exit the car. Oh, it rolled the windows down. Oh, the volume is coming on, enjoy the light show. Mirrors just opened. Oh, the, the car just said, enjoy the light show. Oh, it's doing it in the trunk too. Oh, that's sick. Oh, you oh, I killed it. So that was the light show. Logan is so much more sophisticated than I am with this car. Now he's figured out the colorizer, which just changes the color and the appearance of the car, I think, on my screen. So we actually get to see what it looks like in different colors, which is cool. Should I call to you? I've been having issues with the fan. I feel like it's either too hot, too cold, too high, too low. All right, let's get back on the road again. He also figured out romance mode. How romantic. Right after I shut off the camera, it started playing mood music too. <laughs> A few moments later. It's midnight on the dot, and I want to show you something, which is what Logan taught me that I didn't realize. These are my dome lights. I, there's no buttons. There's no buttons to hit the dome light. Oh, just tap the light, and it turns on. Now, 
With that being said, it's midnight. We're time for our first charge. I'm four miles off the highway. I'm still two minutes away from the Tesla supercharger. So I had to come four miles off the highway to go get a charge. It is a supercharger. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take me to get to a full charge. I'm at 55 miles of range. I'm at 17%. Now the Tesla nav directed me perfectly timed 17% to a supercharger found one for me. I had to get off the highway and uh, now I have to wait at midnight to get my car charged. In 500 feet, turn left me. onto it's not a mall. And there's actually like a decent amount of Teslas charging. I've never charged a Tesla before, so we're gonna learn how to do it together. I've never done this before, but check this out. So here's the charger, right? How's this? Oh yeah, it just opens up like that. Just unplug this and it's so short that it doesn't even reach my car. So let's plug that back in. Seems a little ridiculous because I'm not like parked perfectly. Back myself up. Pull that back. I'm in reverse. You can see how little space I actually have. Jeez, that looks dangerous. Let's try it again. We just tap that, it opens. Pull this, plug that in. And I think that's it. Now, my Audi, yeah, it's already charging, I believe. My Audi, I have to like find an Electrify America, swipe my card or use my app and then like run a card or program it through my app. Tesla, you literally just plug it in and I can see that it's charging at 17% right there. So already just so much easier. We're at 17% and it is 12.01 AM. So we'll see where we, how long it takes to get to 80%. Play while you wait. So we have games we can play, beach buggy. Play game, you can watch Netflix. I think the steering wheel is the controller for this game. Let's try. Now it's even a cyber truck. Oh, I'm not good at this. Oh yeah, it's gas. Gas brake, wow, I'm terrible at this game. Okay, that's kind of neat. I'm legit playing a video game with my car steering wheel and brakes. Oh, I can even go faster. Brake, yeah, wow. Cool. So this is kind of neat. Um, 12 11, so I think I'm like six or seven minutes in, up to 34%. I got a text on my phone and my car alerted me. I have enough energy to continue on my trip. So it's like literally as quick as filling up a gas tank will get me home. And I have a charging station at home that I can plug in for the night and should be good for tomorrow too. So that's like pretty, pretty fast. I'm at 34%. So I've doubled my charge in 10 minutes. That's pretty cool. 35 minutes to charge limit. So if I wanted to charge to a full, which really stinks because I could fill up a tank of gas in 10 minutes, it would take me 35 minutes to charge full. I'm done. Uh, I'm at 52%. It is 1222. So in like 15 minutes, it got me to 52%. And honestly, I've been sitting outside for five minutes unplugged because these guys right here came up and said hello to me. They wanted to see the cyber truck and then uh, they actually watched. They, they've seen some of my videos too. So that was kind of neat. All right, we're good to get home. I can charge at home 15 minutes. No big deal. It's easy peasy. That was really, really impressive. Now turn right. We are an hour and 17 minutes Now turn minutes left away. onto Auburn Street. All right, it is 1.30. I'm 25 minutes from home. What am I doing here? Let me show you. This is how I got to the bus station. Ram trailer. So I came back to the bus station at 1.30 in the morning to find my Ram and trailer, load the Tesla up, and then take everything home. That's how I got to the bus station today. Now I'm taking it all home. Two hours later we are officially home it's 2 a.m i want to show you something cool i don't know if you can see anything but i have my house wired for my ccs charger for my audi the tesla charger came with an adapter so you can't see anything i hooked the adapter up to my tesla i hooked the tesla adapter up to my ccs charger for my audi the car's charging at 29 percent right now at 2 a.m tomorrow i'm taking hopefully you guys can see it that big giant boat over there two hours up north with this cyber truck and then two hours back south with this cyber truck tomorrow so we're gonna put it to the test again the next morning well good morning i am curious to see how our cyber truck fared last night we plugged it in at near 2 a.m it is now 8 a.m so we had six hours of charging on a ccs charger which is the actual charger for that car the e-tron gt not a tesla charger but something that's cool about the tesla is they gave me an attachment to use my ccs charger in tesla so let's see if this just unplugs yeah, it does. That's the adapter that plugs into my CCS charger, that plugs into my house. Let's see where we are at. Does it, oh look at, oh look, at, oh shoot, shoot. How's this work? Hang on, hang on Chase. Oh, we've encountered a problem Chase. This thing shuts automatically. Maybe just like shoot. tap it. I'm gonna break the door. I can't even get this out. Maybe you have to unlock the car. Yeah, maybe that's... Okay, so that opened. <sighs> 
Can't get the adapter out, Chase. It's locked. What's this red spot right here? I don't know. Well, whatever. Let's hop in and see what we're at for charging now. 29%? What the heck? It charged all night. Why are we at 29%? I know that it said show these freaking electric cars. I have to take that boat, which weighs a ton, up north today with this car. It was charging for six hours or so it said. Whoa. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So now you see, we're gonna end this video on a headache, on a problem, so that's not cool. Cliffhanger. Yeah, in our next video, we're gonna figure out this issue, how to get that thing out, how we're gonna charge this thing at a supercharger, and then we're gonna tow that giant boat an hour and a half up north and see how this thing tows. So thanks for watching. In this first episode of Tesla, I'm gonna work on getting that thing out of here after this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, thumbs ups, hearts, bells, all that stuff. Thanks for watching. See you later, and don't forget to subscribe and like.